Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are playing as Sweden in Europe and Versailles 4. We are annexing both Finland and Skane. I'm sorry, Lithuania and Skane. And uh, we have a new vassal, the Teutons, who have cores down here in Poland, over here in Novgorod, and down here in Ukraine. But, oh, also up here in Osel. Oh, okay, and, oh, okay, Semigalia, too. Nice. That means we can go to war with Pomerania and get that from them. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, man, I'm just fantasizing so much right now. And our other vassal over here, he's got cores all over all this shit. Oh, man, that's great. Okay, what do we need to actually form Skandiderpia? What do we need? We need Skane, which we're getting right now, Jaland and Midjaland. Well, guess what? Jaland and Midjaland we can get from Holstein, so why not do that? We are at 10 out of 4 relationships, so let's fast forward along here. we got to cancel out some relationships by annexing them. Yay! We can't go to war with Poland for another 5 years, so let's wait up on that. He still has the same shitty allies. All his allies have one province. I'm sorry, Nuremberg has two provinces. whoop the fucking do Nuremberg. So, he really is in a bad position here. Uh, we're saving up some cash so we can build our wonderful embassy. 1060 bucks, which is going to allow us to have another diplomat. That's really the only thing the embassy's for, is to give you another diplomat. But that's so useful, I love it. Uh, we're over on our boats. We're way under on our force limits. But as soon as we annex Lithuania, we'll get 12 more dudes, so that's fine. Skane seems to have some dudes over here in Bornholm. Uh, press the issue on England. Sure. Why not? We'll have that for how long? 25 years. 25 years, that's plenty of time. We'll probably be declaring war before then. Poor England. Do they have any allies? Oh, Holstein. Of course they have allies. Integrating Skane. Alright. Goodbye, Skane. Thank you for the troops. Three dudes. I don't think I need those. We'll keep the transport, but we don't need the galleys. Okay, where's my transports? There you are. Pick these guys up. It's a party in Bornholm, everybody. And let's bring him to Nieva. That'll work. What's your primary culture, dude? Uh, Ruthenian. So you will accept Russian, but uh, your primary culture is Ruthenian. Let me take a look at the group. I want to see the group. I have to select the country first. Okay, select the country, then hit it. No, nope, still. Game. I want it. How about this one? There we go. Okay, Russian group. That's fine. Um, what I'm thinking is we could annex Peskov and then feed Ukraine and make Ukraine massive. I wish Russian was their primary. They will take Russian, though. And Russian is fully accepted, so I guess it's fine. It's probably fine. Okay, let's start converting again. And we can finally do Donjig! Yes! We can finally do Donjig! It's going to take forever, but it's totally worth it. Okay, who do we want to annex now? Uh, Finland, right? Yeah, Finland. Okay. Give him a small gift. A couple bucks. Uh, a couple more relations. And we can bulb our last quality idea. Done. 15% more discipline for the win. And we completed all of our Swedish ideas, so we now get extra leader shock. Fantastic. Oh, really, that is fantastic. Okay, how close are we, Finland? Real close. Four more months. Ooh, lose stability and money, or just lose stability? We'll... I hate this event. Either has a total of minus three stability out of the two options. That is just horrible. It's horrifying and horrible. Okay, 91. Good. Come back from Finland. And annex. Good lad. Okay, France, blah, blah, blah. 
Pomerania and Cologne. So now's a good time to go to war with Pomerania, because England's at war with him. And he really has no allies. Uh, we can make him spit up that to Denmark. And we can make him spit up uh, these two to um, Teutons. Lose stability or have revolutionaries. Well, I'm okay with some revolutionaries. Or I'll put you on Hunt Rebels. Have fun. Okay, so now we're integrating Finland and Lithuania at the same time. Very good. We need about 800 more bucks before we can uh, use our third diplomat for the first time. Won't that be nice? France wants access? No, you can suck my balls. You broke our alliance, you're a horrible person, and you should feel bad. Production efficiency for the win. How are we on trade? We're only making 14 bucks on trade. I mean, that's more than we've ever made, so we're doing good. It's just not that much money. I'd like to have a lot more money on trade since we've completely specialized in trade. Whoa, rebels on our face. Rebels on your face. What's wrong with your face? That's right, Christian zealots. Get the fuck out of here. What? Are you retreating somewhere? Oh no, he's on rub he's on automatic rebel hunt. So he actually ran back home. That's hilarious. I guess that works. Oh god, how many wars are you in? Two different wars. Holstein, England, Brandenburg, France, and what you're at war with England and France at the same time. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, we might want to work... Yeah, we really do have to work on Portugal. They don't like us right now. Well, they do like us, but um, they shouldn't. Because we haven't tried to improve relations in a long time. That being said, have they improved relations with us in, in forever? Oh, yeah, they have. They've kept us at max. We're at, pos we're at positive 100 right now. Because they maxed it out. Wow. So they're really trying, and we're just not even lifting a finger. Okay, looks like France pieced out. Yeah, it's just Holstein and England now. What's the base tax of these provinces here? 663. Wow, that's a good base tax. He probably wouldn't peacefully vassalize, even if he only had these three. He probably still wouldn't. Stolp, Stetten, and Rugen. Three different cores. Interesting. Conquest on Britain. Oh, they formed Great Britain. Congratulations! Scotland still has their cores, so that's fine. There's a fire truck outside. Oh no! God, we're just not making enough money. I want more money, okay? More. A lot more. And Pomerania, you need to peace out, dude. Seriously. How's Poland doing with his stupid allies? Still have crappy allies? Yeah, same crappy allies as before. Our truce is almost up. It ends in uh, January of next year. Hey, a comet! I like comets! Love comets. We can finally start teching up our military again. It's been a while. Oh man, I need that stupid... Embassy so bad. So bad. What's the religion? We are Protestant. We spent the last, like, three episodes flipping to Protestantism. It was painful. Very painful. Okay, you're down to one war. So hurry up and finish your damn war. Yeah, we had so many revolts. We took out, like, 18, 20 loans that we had to pay back. Oh my god. It's a huge stall in the national progression. The economy turns upside down, revolts everywhere, blah blah blah. Everything just goes tits up for a long, long time. Oh wow, Pskov don't like us. Hmm. Hungary, what's up? At war with France, really? I don't think I want to help you against France, dude. Nothing personal. 
Oh no, it's a defensive war, so France may not join. Well, let's see who joins. France joined. Nope. Sorry, Hungary. <laughs> I, I don't care. Sorry. Oh, no, we lost Defender of the Faith. That's okay. I'm not going to war with France. Not suicidal. Okay, the truce is up. We don't have a free diplomat, though, so we really need that building. We need more money. We need more money. Or just wait for Lithuania to annex. Whatever. I would like money, though. Wow, look at the baris. That is an amazingly bright color, and the half sids are hugely green. These two colors are actually hurting my eyeballs just looking at that. I'm going to scroll over here. Uh, the Regency Council in Portugal has died. I'm not sure that really counts as anything, but thanks. Come on, Portugal, offer me a marriage. Pomerania is getting the shit kicked out of him. Converted Danjig, alright. Every single province is converted, yeah? 100% religious unity, fantastic. Lovely. Just lovely. I don't even have a diplomat to declare war. So, yeah. <laughs> Can't do shit for a few bits here. Certainly not going to spend any money. Ooh, wow, these rebels are actually being successful over here. I hope they actually form a nation. That'd be great. Oh, wow. They took Hinterpommer and Stetten. Are you kidding me? That's so aggressive. And they lost all of their allies. Oh man, I need my diplomat right now before they get some allies. We lost our CB on them though. We're gonna have to fabricate a claim or something. Shits. Hmm. I bet they would peacefully vassalize too. All right, let's tech up. Um, oh, are we ahead or are we behind? Oh, perfect timing. Okay. And we can switch to an administrative monarchy if we want. Or a feudal monarchy. What would that do for us? That would be more production efficiency and more national tax. That sounds good. Right now we have manpower up 10% and income from vassals up 10%. Well, we do have a lot of vassals. Uh, how much money do we get from vassals? Only eight bucks. No, no, no. It's definitely going to be more money to get the uh, production and tax bonus from uh, admin monarchy. So we'll do that. Oh, man. Come on. Go rebels. Go rebels. Marriage from Novgorod. Sure. Go rebels. Tech up the military? Nope. Diplotech. All right. Diplotech, go. Still no allies for Palmer Derpia. Poland still has the same shit, allies. Come on, man. What's the successor? 42%. Yes, make it fall. Uh-oh. What happened? Bohemia? Uh-oh. Poland is aggressing Bohemia. That means they may lose an ally or two. That's hilarious. Poland's now at war with Britain. God, Poland, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. And Portugal joined. Okay. Oh, I think that was the other way around. Britain joined some when Portugal. Hey, it fell. Great. All right. Form your new nation. <laughs> form Yiland. Do it. God, that's so weird. That's what she said. Hey, Lithuania. Great. Wow, that is a weird-looking Sweden we have here. That's okay. Uh, that should give us our CB against Poland again because they're the wrong religion. Yep, and we can start converting stuff. Let's do that. Why don't we take you clowns down to Podlacy? Is Parliament fine? Yep, it's fine. You guys go to Oistprusen. That's going to give us a lot more income now because Riga and Oistprusen were one of the two largest on uh, this center of trade. Uh, group up. 
I don't even need your galleys, so get rid of them. Bye. Uh, we're still over our limit on both. Ugh. But not by much. It's probably okay. And the transports, I definitely want to keep those. Always need more transports. Let's actually group the transports up in Donshi. And that'll be good. So, free diplomat. Uh, we should probably declare war on Pomerania before they have... Oh, we don't have a CB. Okay, let me... Can I build that building yet? No. Ooh, Fine Arts Academy. I need... Oh, man. Next month I can build it. Next fucking month I can build it. Okay, well... Is there anyone I want to integrate right now? I want to do Novgorod soon. Uh, when can we actually do that? Two years. Yeah, okay, work on Novgorod. That's going to be important. Novgorod shall be important. Denmark we're going to keep for a long time. The Teutons we can probably integrate as soon as we take that last province from Poland, this one. So as soon as we're done with the war with Poland, we can integrate the Teutons. So the war with the Poland does take some priority. Uh, Ukraine we're going to keep for a long time. Peskov we can just annex, although they hate us. Wow, Peskov hates us. And Finland's going to go as well. Okay, let's do our building. Embassy, go! Embassy in the capital. Do it. And we can tech up our military tech. Nice. Aha, new units. Except, apparently the new units are inferior or something. Ah, whatever. Group up. Ooh. Oh no, two religious regiments in Karelia. No! Not two regiments. Yiland has declared independence. And yes, they did get all three provinces. Are they a republic? No, they're a kingdom. And they're at war with Holstein. Well... Maybe they'll take Jaland? Oh, please take Jaland. Please take Jaland. Don't peace out. Don't peace out. Damn it, they wiped peace out. Fuckers. Okay, do you guys want to peacefully vassalize? You do! Hey! Alright, well... Let's talk peaceful vassalization. Oh, I need a diplomat. Right! Okay, screw off the rod. There goes Finland. Hey, hey, now Sweden's looking nice. Okay, do I need these units? Probably. Um, can you get to Donshig? Yeah, just go to Donshig. You'll be fine over there. And some ships up here that we probably don't need at all. Uh, you know, we'll delete these again. Because we just don't need galleys. And we'll take the transports to uh, Donshig. Why don't you kill them before you come down? There you go. Alright, free diplomat. Let's work on Yiland. Oh man, that's great. Two free diplos. Well, I think we should just declare war because you guys. Oh, Austria's going to defend them because they're part of the Empire. Is Austria strong? Well, yeah, they have Britain. Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh, well, we can peacefully vassalize them. Oh, you know what? That works. That works. I hate to do it, but it does work, and it means when we go to war with Hoshtin, we can make them give land up to our other vassal. That works. So why don't we... Who do we want to integrate? I want to integrate Novgorod and Peskov. But they hate our guts. Let's declare war on Poland. Let's get... No, we need those claims first. Alright, let's get claims over here. Mm, claim on Kalitz. Make it happen. Ah, we need to go to war over here. Let's do that. It's just a little one province minor. Who cares? Let's work on Yiland. Mm -hmm. 
Let's also work on Novgorod, I guess. They're pretty useless. Where are the Olenets? Where are you going? Oh, I told you to go over here after you were done with the Rebels. Pretty sure I told you to go over there after you were done with the Rebels, dumbass. Uh, accumulate money, enemy of enemy. Who? Pomerania. I bet we could do that. Conquer Shaylin. No. Liquor Act? Nope. Mining Act. Uh, trade efficiency goes down, but production and tax go up. Yes. Suffering Bishop? Nope. Popery Act? Yes. Okay. Works for me. Land technology research useless. No. No, it's not. It's really not. Poland, you still have cr crappy allies. And we're discovering some of the new world. Look at this. Portugal and Castile. Alright, Samuel Gideon fell. Great. So you guys are animist. No one's going to care if you die. Uh, get out of Yilin just for now. Let's talk peace with these idiots. Uh, we can't make you give land to my vassal. That's really unfortunate. So we'll just have to take the hit here. And it's only going to piss off Poland and Pomerania. So that's fine. No big deal. Uh, I think we'll just sell it. Sell it to um, the Teutons. The Teutons! Sup, Teuton? Got a core on it. He doesn't even want it. He has a core on it, and he doesn't want it. Are you shitting me? Fine, whatever. <laughs> That's pretty dumb. No, I don't want my core back. It's filthy. It's horrible. You dumbass. Okay. Uh, Pomerania, I think we're just going to do peacefully. It's really unfortunate that they're a wrong religion. But they would vassalize, and I really don't want to go to war with Austria. Uh, we could probably beat them, though. And we're going to have to go to war with Britain at some point. Hmm. We can claim their throne? It's a different dynasty, though, so we couldn't act on it. Ha. Huh. You know what? Let's work on uh, Novgorod. Get them out of the way, right? How long until that building's done? I need my freaking dude. Oh, it's almost done. But you know, we do need to end the episode here. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time for the annexation of Novgorod and Peskov. And the uh, war against Poland. Sounds good, huh? See you then. Have a good day.